When did Absalom rebel against David? So here you go, rebelling against David. Uh, 2 Samuel 15, after four years had passed, Absalom said to the king, please let me go to Hebron to fulfill a vow I have made to the Lord. And so the argument is, this is when it happened. And then later on it says, um, actually earlier on in 2 Samuel, it says, David was 30 years old when he became king and he reigned 40 years. So for context, the supposed contradiction here is that if David only reigned for 40 years and there's no time while he reigned for Absalom to still rebel. The timeline just doesn't match up. Okay, yeah, hold on. So he's in the first one. When's the first one supposed to take place then? So it's um, so four years after. Yeah, let me pull it up. Context is key. Second Samuel 15. Great. The chapter starts with it saying sometime later. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a contradiction. Yeah. Sometime later. Okay. <laughs> what verse is that? Seven. Yeah, this doesn't really help because it just is talking about what Absalom was doing to gain the favor of the people. And then it says after four years passed, then he said, I'm going to go to Hebron. So is, how old was Absalom supposed to be when every rebelled? Maybe that's the, the grounding they're going with? Um, I don't think he was an old man. Yeah, I don't think he so was either. He was 40 years. Um... 40 years. Okay, this so after are they the time, saying... This is after the time that Absalom had kids because in the previous chapter it said uh, three sons were born to Absalom. But it doesn't give an age. Okay, I'm kind and of shooting it sometime, yeah, some, in sometime the dark later. here. So I'm assuming that they're saying, okay, well, he was 30 years old when he became king. So Daniel's 30 years old. David was 30 years old when he became king. And he reigned for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And then Absalom rebelled. Yes. So Why? Um, in 2 Samuel, which chapter was it? In 2 Samuel 5, let me get that up real quick. 5 verse 5, which is right after this second one that we looked at. It says, in Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem, he reigned 33 years over all Israel and Judah. So you put those together and it says David reigned for 40 years and six months. And so the idea is that extra six months is enough time for Absalom to go to Hebron and start the rebellion. And so that fixes the problem. But... Well, I guess like in 2 Samuel, after four years, mm -hmm. what, what was preceding the, the four years? Um, like I said, it's just like him gaining the favor of the people and the chapter starts out with it saying sometime later. So you can make that fit however much time you want. And then there's not even a contradiction then. Right. However, I just saw something as a footnote here that I didn't see before, which it, it provides another option for this. Uh, some Syriac and some, um, Septuagint manuscripts instead of saying after four years passed, they say after 40 years passed. And that makes me think it's saying after 40 years passed of David's reign, Absalom had said this. So it was in the 40th year of David's reign. And if you combine that with the passage in 2 Samuel 5 that says he reigned an extra six months. So in the time from the 40th year to the 40th year and six months, we have this time window when Absalom began to rebel. I mean, that's, so, yeah, I mean, that, that might be, but yeah, again, the, if the, if this is what they're saying is the evidence and they don't actually reference that footnote, mm -mm. then I'd have to say the website's making a very poor argument here. I agree. Let me actually see what the, what the article says on the website. One second. And it didn't say that he reigned continuously for those 40 years. Just no. that he reigned for 40 years. Oh, okay, so the alleged contradiction is, on the one hand, you have 2 Samuel 15, the first verse that we read, says it happened after 40 years. Um, and actually, they do use the um, the 
uh, Septuagint reading there of 40 years. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, and then in 2 Samuel 5, it's saying that this happened less than 40 years um, since David only ruled a total of 40 years. But, oh, okay, that's what I had included the next verse for because then it says that he reigned for an extra six months. So the question is, did it happen before the 40th year or after the 40th year? And it says in 2 Samuel 5.5 5, or 5.4 that he reigned 40 years and in 5.5 5, that he reigned 40 years and six months. So. So is that supposed to be the total time period that David reigned, reigned. all in all? Yes, because some of it was in Israel, some was in Judah. Hmm? So he does come back and take power from Absalom. Uh, remember his serves. I got to I gotta be honest. I don't remember that part. It just said that he reigned in Judah for a certain amount of time and in Israel for a certain amount of time. And if you add those together, it's 40 years and six months. So if we go with some of the other writings, which would make it 40 years instead of four years had passed, I'd have to go to back and see why they chose four years over the 40 years though that would yeah be that sounds that like, would be where i would go with the investigation next that sounds like a textual variant question but okay i'll find the monk i'll find the monk <laughs> it's it, i don't you know find some, of those, some of those sexual criticism critiques where they're going back and they're finding out who exactly did the alteration i'm like mm. man i'd be terrified if i was one of those guys man they're gonna find me <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I, I guess like I, I just don't see um it feels like we're missing a piece of information to even make a claim that there's um some a contradiction here it's like mm. after four years, four years had passed beyond some point, and then down down below it says David was thirty years old when he became king, and he reigned for forty years. I'm just, well, I guess I'm just not seeing the what I is could, the. Let me try to resubmit it to you then. So Second Samuel five four mm. says David was thirty years when he became king, and he reigned forty years. So this critic is saying, okay, he was thirty when he became king. That means forty years exactly. He was 70 when he stopped becoming king mm -hmm. or stopped being king. 70 when he died. 70 when he died. Yeah. So 40 years exactly. You have this window of exactly mm -hmm. 40 years. Remember, it's a literal reading of the Bible, right. not any and room given. Right. And then in, yeah, and in 40 Samuel doesn't, 15, the number 40 doesn't raise any flags. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, I, it's not like I true. already pointed that part yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 So, but in, then in 2 Samuel 15, it says, and if we're taking the Septuagint reading of the um, textual variant here, which is what he does in the in the um, criticism, because that's what it says in the King James, um, after 40 years, Absalom rebelled against David. So on the one hand, it says David reigned exactly 40 years. On the other hand, it says sometime after 40 years, while David was still reigning, Absalom rebelled. Does that make sense? So is is the point that instead of four, they're 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 claiming that it should say forty after no, forty years. Claim, they're not claiming that it should say forty. I have this more modern translation here, and maybe I should have included the King James. He's going based off the King James, and the textual variant that the King James okay. translators used said forty. Yeah, I think the forty might not be correct. I think well, the four might be because it's talking two years after um, his brother. Well great his uh sister well the yeah so that's the thing that i think held and then went from there right i think if you do use the word 40 there if you use that textual variant then it would just be referring to 40 years after david started reigning um but i still think that that would not be a problem because second samuel 5 includes that extra six months so then it would you could just put it in that right. time period there and then you don't have a problem right yeah yeah, it seems like so. either way, you don't have a problem, <laughs> you know? Wow, imagine that. 